David, Buck was just talking about how hard of a role this is to be successful and how have you been able to adjust to it and, and have the type of success you've had this year? Yeah, you know, I think it's just kind of understanding the situation that we're in, that we have five great starters. Um, we couldn't couldn't ask for a better rotation. Um, so being the, that sixth guy, I guess, is uh, something I take a lot of pride in these games, doubleheaders, when guys have gotten injured. You know, I think it's, it's time for me to step in and make it seem um, – like a seamless transition for when they come in and out. Um, so I think it's just it's shown up to the ballpark every day, um, getting my work in and, and controlling what I can control. You know, I can't control what the front office does, what happens with the team. Um, I can control the days that I'm told I'm getting the ball and um, go out there and do my job. Your last seven starts now, you have an ERA under two and a half. What has been the, the difference that has elevated you to that type of performance? I think a big thing is just throwing more strikes, getting ahead in counts. Um, couldn't do it without the guys behind the plate, whether it's Nito, McCann today, Mazika filling in for McCann, um, and then obviously the defense we have behind us is spectacular. I mean, being able to have balls like I did today hit and turn around and know that guys are going to make the plays. I mean, that double play that they turned was unreal. Marte with a great throw. I thought we had Acuna at third. I mean, it just every day that we show up to the ballpark, those guys are out there working early with Joey and, and making sure that they're holding up their end and they do a pretty damn good job of it. Coming into the game, you're obviously looking to go five, six innings on a somewhat limited pitch count on a busy day, busy weekend for the bullpen. And then the Braves get the bases loaded in the first inning and you escape. How big of a moment to you was that as far as dictating the tone of the day? Yeah, I think it was big. Um, obviously, just whatever happens, it's on to the next pitch, get the next batter, and, and we were able to do that with uh, with getting out of that inning. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, I think obviously we used a lot of guys in the last couple of days. Um, and so for me coming into this, it was just trying to get as deep as I could into the game. Um, felt really good and um, felt like I had more in, but um, we made a change, and so... And I think it was that was kind of my goal is is to throw as long as I could and and then um, throw until Buck took the ball away. So you, you were they hit 99 on the gun in the first time. Uh, yeah, I heard I heard I did. So is that real? I think so. I mean, the gun said it is. So. Uh, in that second inning, uh, you walked Garcia, and then that first slider to Harris got away, uh, and then McCann came and talked with you for a little bit. How important was that to just uh, – and after that, you got Harris to strike out, Acuna to ground out. How important was that second inning, what McCann said to you to get you through the outing? Yeah, it was big. I mean, I think it's, it's not rocket science. You know, for him as a guy that's been around, um, knows how to control a pitching staff, and um, – just came out and um, gave us a little breather, and um, I think we decided what we wanted to do on the next pitch and kind of get back at, back at it, you know. So um, I think our catchers do a really good job of that, of knowing when to come out, knowing when to give us space, and um, I think James picked a good time to come out and slow things down, and then we got back to work. David, yeah, you said earlier you've been accepting of this role that's seen you do a bunch of different things. If the way for you to help this team down the stretch in October is ultimately out of the bullpen, how accepting would you be of that I'm ready to take that job I think that's I've was fortunate that they gave me a couple opportunities to truly come in a reliever spot um, last week and a half and um, I mean the last first couple times in my career that I came out of the bullpen was a piggyback thing or a multiple inning thing early in the game and so it was, it was good to get a couple different experiences truly out of the bullpen uh, under my belt and um, I mean the goal is for this team to win and, and for us to reach our ultimate goal and um, any way that I can help possible, that's what I'm here to do. Have they talked to you at all about that? No. Every, every year we've been in New Jersey, our velocity has ticked up a little bit year after year. What's the product of that? How's, how's that happening? Um, I think part of it is um, feeling, I mean, this year I felt the best I did coming into camp. Uh, felt like I put the foot behind me. Um, felt like my arm was in a good spot, kind of cleaning things up mechanically. And um, I mean, I can't can't do it without the training staff in there. They take care of us. Um, we do the right things for arm care and stuff like that. And I think when you're healthy, you perform better. And then they've done a really good job. The per- performance staff has of keeping us on the field and, and giving us what we need. And I think it's just kind of for me over these last two and a half, three years, 
um, figuring out kind of what my routines are, what my five-day routine looks like, what every day I need to get done to, to be healthy and be at uh, peak performance. In terms of throwing hard, do you think that's something that you could notch up a little bit out of a bullpen role? I think so. I think it's a little different. Um, obviously, being in a, a one-inning or two-inning stint versus starting, you know, you got to you want to keep that same velocity through the start. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to the bullpen and try and throw harder. I'm going to, I'm going to still go and execute pitches and get guys out. And um, if the velo goes up, the velo goes up. But um, I think I'll be in a good spot as long as I keep with my routine and stay healthy. How much have you felt that velo spike, even from where you were a couple of years ago to now, has helped you just in terms of separating from the other pitches? Yeah, I mean, I think... The fastball velo is is what people see, but you've also seen. I mean, the slider's been a lot harder. Uh, I think everything's kind of come up a little bit. Um, and I mean, who doesn't want to throw harder? I mean, you ask a hitter, you want to face 90 or 100. You know, it's um, obviously that wasn't the jump, but you know, it just kind of yeah, it doesn't it doesn't hurt.